today we're going to make... I don't know if you can see that. No, you can't. Belgian candy sugar. I wrote out a, the, the uh, how-to from Basic Brewing's notes. Um, we need a candy thermometer, three-quart cooking pot or three-litre, um, with a thick bottom. Oops. Very thick. Very good. Good quality, this one's. And thermometer. Oh, can't really see that. Here, I'll move that into the light. Thermometer. And brewing sugar. In my case, I'm using raw sugar. Um, it says I need a pastry brush, but I don't have one, so I'm going to wing it. I decide to use this timber spoon. Timber spoon. And what we basically need to do from here is get your two pounds, roughly one kilo, of sugar. I'm not using white sugar or um, brew sugar. I'm using um, raw sugar. Simply because I like raw sugar. It tastes nicer to me. So all we're going to do is, it says on the paperwork, one and a half. I'm doing it for a caramelizing type solution. So it's one, one and a half teaspoons of diammonium phosphate, otherwise known as nutrient salts. Worth the effort. You're going to need them for any home brews with meads or anything else like I do. So you do that and you put that in there. So you've got nutrient salts in, or your di diammonium phosphate, and now you need to do is stir it up. So I just mix it all in. Just a bit of a mix, not a lot. Goes the baby. I have my two youngest sons in with me here at the moment. So you mix it up, as you can see, it's there, it's mixed, yay me. And you just tip it in your pot. By doing that, you've made sure that your your height, as you can see, the height here is up to the bottom of the um, thermometer. That's the word. Now, what you do is you turn your heat on, turn it on to a medium heat, which in my case means that the thermostat gets the electricity turned to three quarters. And then you add a cup of water. Lovely, clean, fresh, filtered water. Put that in the pot. And then you just do a gentle stir just to get all the fluid. Mix it, as you can see, it's dry in one corner, so you mix it around. Turning on an angle so you can see it. I don't need the angle, but just so you can see it means I don't have to change the camera angle. Make sure your thermometer goes into a good depth. You get your heat on. And now, currently, sweet pea. Currently the temperature is just on 20 degrees Celsius or 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Soon enough it'll start to bubble. But that'll be a few As you can see, we're back. Hello, welcome back. As you can see, I've zoomed in slightly and it's just starting to bubble. We've got about another 10 minutes or so, so what I'm going to do is uh, duck in and out every so often and show you a little more. Temperature hasn't really changed that much. We'll see how we go. Okay, that's been a little longer than I expected, but it's good. As you can see, it's just started boiling in the middle. I haven't stirred it at all. And as you can see, the temperature has risen. Oops, excuse me while I just wriggle this camera around a little. Um, it's up to mid-90s. Mid-90s now. 
if I run my finger up this, you can see quite clearly what temperature it's at. And look, check out how it's the water's wriggling, the candy is wriggling around, the sugar's moving around on itself. It creates little vortexes. That's amazing, isn't it? That is amazing to see. You see it spinning around on itself. We're going upwards in temperature. We're going to get to think about um, softball. I think is where we're going for. I'll just check. Isn't that amazing to watch? That's great, Jack. We're almost there. We're going to need to have another cup of water ready for when it's ready. So I'll get that up and sitting next to it now. I might zoom out a little for this bit because it's, as you can see, that's my water that's just arrived. Am I right? What temperature are we at? A hundred and 10 degrees roughly speaking or 230 degrees Fahrenheit it's just boiling away as you can see it's taking care of itself I don't have to do anything temperature has risen as you can see still it's made it up to 230 degrees it's all the way up to threaded now which is very nice we're heading to 260 degrees maybe 240 I'm just gonna find my sheet of paper not that one the other one 